I was in Romania when my head got split open. Six stitches. Here's the setting. Canadian Air Force, Romanian base. I'm there to support the American military. We're in a hangar on Thanksgiving Day, American Thanksgiving. We're the only ones who celebrate Thanksgiving on that day. Uh, we always act like, everybody, nobody, just, just us. We're the only ones with Indians and pilgrims and all that shit. Um, <laughs> nobody, go to fucking England. Nobody's making turkeys out of their hands. Nobody's, that's, that's us. <laughs> so the point is, nobody gives a shit. They're giving us a tour. And this amazingly hot flight engineer is explaining the F-15 fighter hornet to me. And I am not listening to shit because she's hot and she's in a uniform. She sounds like Charlie Brown's parents and that heavy breathing part from that Enigma song. That's all I hear. So I'm not listening. I don't hear her when she explains the metal fin inside the exhaust that they lovingly call the nutcracker. Uh, I don't hear any of that. And then when she's done with her whatever expose, she flings her flashlight into the exhaust. She goes, does anyone want to go get it? I'm a dumb dog. <laughs> not only will I get it, ma'am, I'll get it faster than anybody's ever gotten it. That's it. <laughs> I jumped up into that exhaust, and I was like, well, crawling would be slow, but if you rolled over, it would like, <laughs> yeah, that's, a fuck, that's the exact sound. I shoved my head into this metal fin, so, <clears throat> so it was like, it was like, you ever chopped firewood, and you miss it, and you're like, oh. <laughs> tired to get my head off of this. And I'm still trying to be cool because she's hot. <laughs> trying to come out all slow. Hey! Coming out. I might have bumped my head a little. I am pouring blood. It's like fucking Pompeii. God. Blood everywhere. I'm like, I just have to get out of here before I die. Like, before I run out of the blood. I gotta get out. And I came out, and in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be real cool. She's watching. I took a knee like a superhero. I... <laughs> like they shot Kaepernick during the national anthem, like a cop. I rolled over and just laid on my back, and I think died. I don't even know. I'm a bitch when it comes to blood. I pass right out. Just whatever. Oh, you're about to take my blood? Cool. Bring me a pillow. I don't care. They brought me, the Canadians put me back together, and they brought me to the American clinic on base. And the American clinic. You ever met? You ever seen somebody at their first day of work? Well, you just, you know, when they look uncomfortable, they look like a, they wish a manager would relieve them at any moment. That was the dude. Because I come walking in and I, I'm bleeding profusely. It's a deep wound. And I just come in to a clinic where I assume everyone's qualified. I go, hey, uh, I seem to have a problem. Oh, what's the problem? And I go, this. And I pull it off and it goes, dick, 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 dick. like a sprinkler, like a blood gun. Dick, 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 dick. And his professional medical response was, oh, shit! <laughs> and I went, one of us is going to have to pull it together. <laughs> and he goes, I'm sorry, man. It's my first day. He goes, but we'll figure it out. And I respect the shit out of that kind of commitment. Like, you know what I mean? You might be my dude. Uh, I lay down, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take it off again. He's like, all right, let's see what happens. Like we're, <laughs> we are coordinating a problem. And I go, all right, you ready? He's like, yeah, I go, <laughs> he goes, no! 
He goes, all right, here's what I think. <laughs> he goes, I think if I deaden it, I'm going to have to stick you with four needles. He goes, but if I stitch it up, I'm going to have to stick you with four needles. How many needles you want to get stuck with? <laughs> Like, why is why am I involved in this? Just fucking do it. He goes, all right, we're gonna do it. Drop. I went, no. Here's the thing: the military. This is every day for them. This is not every day for me. They come walking into the room. There's just dudes walking in one after another with various inquiries or problems or things that they would have to come in to the infirmary with. So every time the door opens, I'm laying here. I can't, I just hear it, but I can't see it. So the door opens and some other soldier will go, God damn! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't making me feel any better. After about the third one, I'm not, now I'm in full comic mode. Third one, I hear the door open. Man, what happened to you? I was at your mom's house and I forgot the safe word. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you.